Amen. Let the living shout hallelujah. I see Redeemed Christian Church of God as that which the Lord will use to bring revival, to be a part of the revival, the end time revival. We couldn't even afford to get a television and BCR for our children's department. And then all of a sudden, here was this vision to get a camp. $250,000 for one acre. I just said, I must, I must have been dreaming. If God has said it and Daddy has confirmed it, it has to happen. Blessed day to you, my beloved brothers, sisters, pastors, sons and daughters in the Lord. I want to welcome you again to 2018, our year of songs of victory. You and your entire household we sing songs of victory, songs of joy, songs of favor, songs of breakthrough this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, by the special grace of God, I count it as a privilege and an honor to share with you and remind you of the spiritual birthright, our inheritance, our endowment, tradition, handed to every member of the redeemed Christian Church of God worldwide. The foundation on which we built today was laid by our predecessors who have now gone to be with the Lord. The Redeemed Christian Church of God Worldwide, also known as RCCG, or Redeemed, is also not only a mission, but a church family with a peculiar history and unique antecedents from which has evolved a culture, a growth, a challenge. We have experienced a legacy of phenomenal growth by the special grace of God, the manifestation of power, through diverse miracle signs and wonders. I came into this country on the wheelchair. And in just one week, I was taken to the hospital. I did, three more, I did four more surgeries. The doctors looked at me and said, what happened to you? You broke everywhere. They wrote their report. They never knew I could walk again. But I knew before I left Nigeria that the Jehovah prayed and he said I will rise again. After 29 hours in the theater, after several surgeries, two book grafting, I stood up, I walked. You are God, you are God, from beginning to the end. We are truly blessed to have real spiritual fathers like the founder of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, late Reverend Park and the current general overseer, Pastor Enoch Adijari Adiboye. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. Um, if you want me to start with the first convention, I can tell you that it took place in Tallahassee, Florida uh, in 1997. It was actually um, described as a minister's conference, and uh, but it was actually the first gathering of uh, all the members of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in North America at that time. We didn't have uh, many parishes, but you know all those that were here then gathered in Tallahassee, and everybody was of course very excited. Uh, Daddy Gio and Mumi Gio came and we had a wonderful, wonderful time. It's something that those who were there that they can never forget. When I was coming, when I was trying to rush to build a big parish and go back to my business, God spoke to me. And Daddy Gio was able to help, I mean, he helped me to confirm me later. God said to me, you are not going to build a mega church yet. You are going to plant little parishes around the Dallas Metroplex and then I will give you a camp. So today, to the glory of God, we have about 800 acres of land at that camp. Well, that's another miracle that God has performed in our midst. The Redeemer Federal Credit Union, as of January 2018, 
we have 275 members with total assets of over $1 million. We have grown our loans to over half a million. In the future, we plan to have more products to serve our members. Please join the membership of this organization to support the great work being done by visiting www.redeemerfcu.org. I became a part of RCCG in a in 1994. In May of 97, uh, we hosted the first uh, Redeemed Christian Church of God uh, conference meeting, Ministers and Workers Conference, and all 15 churches participated, uh, and there were about 200 to 250 people or members. Many came from uh, the Dallas area in buses and, and in Detroit as well. Uh, but that was a, a very good meeting that we had in 1998 in Dallas, I believe it was, uh, Dallas or Houston. Uh, I was ordained uh, at that time. I would say continue to reach out uh, to those of other cultures, uh, to the, uh, the uh, African American culture, to the Hispanic culture, to the Caucasian culture, uh, to the vi different cultures of the United States, even the Asian culture, uh, because uh, in this way, we'll be able to see uh, people from every nation, kindred, and tongue here in Redeem. And the influence of the church will grow, and uh, the influence of the kingdom of God will grow here in America as Redeem uh, holds up the bloodstained banner as individual pastors and individual members of Redeem hold up the bloodstained banner in letting all know that Jesus is the only way to salvation. That the very first thing and the most important thing that we do every single morning is we pray. We get together and we pray we open it in prayer, we pray for the conferences that are here, we pray for the people that are here, and then we go to work. The most important job is to make sure that each, each guest is comfortable. Each guest feels like they are really cared about. People come from everywhere, and when they come here, they are praying people. That these rooms and these hallways are filled with praises and, and God's people praying. And there, what hotel can you go to in the world and find that? Nowhere have I ever worked that I've been able to put a scripture in a hotel room to welcome that guest. And here we're able to do that. And I've, I've worked and cleaned many hotel rooms, but never have I ever had that freedom to share God's word while I work. There are more opportunities now in our Bible college to get certifications from the Bible college now more than ever before, please visit their website at www.rccgnaseminary.org. On events and programs, kindly take note of the following important dates on the DGO schedule for 2018. These dates are tentative. The DGO has the prerogative to change the dates if necessary. That's the power given to daddies. Uh, the first one is going to be uh, a special Holy Ghost service in Houston, Texas, themed Let the Fire Fall, and it's going to be on Wednesday, March 21, 2018. Our Father in the Lord is going to Boston. They call it Boston Holy Ghost Rally, themed Let the Fire Fall. The date also is Friday, March 23rd, 2018, in Boston. And this year, we are going to have RCCJNA Canada Special Holy Ghost Service. The Holy Ghost Service is themed Let the Fire Fall, and it's going to be June 8, Friday, June 8, 2018. For our convention in Dallas, for RCCJNA convention that is going to encompass the whole of North America, the theme is Divine Victory, June 13, to the 15th. Please make sure you go and buy your ticket, plan to stay in the camp, and so that you can get all the impact of this convention. By the special grace of God, we will have a multi-mobile home 
type of classrooms encompassed by a concrete slab as a temporary accommodation for the children's department for the convention 2018. This slab will later serve as a parking lot for the permanent children's building. We are also in the process of constructing two to three miles of the state-of-the-art prayer trail here on our campground. We trust that the Almighty God will help us build it and it, it will be a sort of an attraction and blessing to our members and visitors that we come from all over the world to our camp. Our Father in the Lord is traveling to Trinidad and Tobago. If you have anybody in those islands, please ask them to come for this Holy Ghost rally on Friday, October 23rd. Our Father in the Lord is coming to Birmingham, Alabama. And please make sure you mark this date down in your calendar, October 24th, Wednesday. We are going to have a special Holy Ghost service there. Then one day special ministers conference here in Dallas on Friday, October 26th. We are going to communicate to you where we are going to meet, but it's only one day. Please make sure you arrive Thursday night and plan to leave maybe Saturday morning. It is well with you. In conclusion of this legacy presentation, what an awesome legacy, my dear brothers, sisters, daughters, and sons in the Lord. All that we have just viewed and heard is a glorious testimony of the faithfulness of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the same who is our own God today, the God of the Redeemer, Christian Church of God. In 2018, you will make progress. You will sing the songs of joy, songs of favor, songs of anointing, and songs of progress in the name of Jesus. And with the prayer of Moses to God's people in Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 26, I therefore declare to your life and the lives of your loved ones that the Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will make his face to shine upon you. He will grant you grace. He will grant you mercy. The Lord will lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. You will not embark on a journey of no return. Your name and the name of your loved ones will not appear in the manifest of the dead. So it shall be in the name of Jesus. To donate or to find out more about our mission in North America, please visit www.rccgna.org or contact us on the email or the address below. God bless you. See you next year. The Almighty God will answer your prayers. Because Jesus overcame, you will overcome. The power of the Almighty God himself will keep you to the end. You'll be more than the conqueror. And the one who prayed for Peter will pray for you. You will overcome anger. You will overcome immoral thoughts. From now on, you'll be able to control your stomach. You overcome laziness. You overcome impatience. Every area where the devil has been tempting you in the past, you will overcome. And because you are going to overcome yourself, beginning from now, you will be singing songs of victory. Physically, you'll be victorious. Materially, you'll be victorious. Maritally, you'll be victorious. Mentally, you'll be victorious. Spiritually, you'll be victorious. 
In your home, you will be victorious. In your career, you will be victorious. And you will finish well. It shall be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.